Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a quick energy update, see what's going on in your situation, what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, um, more importantly, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Um, so just going to check in and see what the story is. I know for my zodiac readings, so for a lot of you, I'm getting that you're breaking old subconscious patterns and you're letting go of toxic people, you're letting go of emotionally unavailable people, and you're manifesting new people that are just you know, resonating with you, someone who's going to give you what you deserve, somebody who's going to get match your energy. But I want to say, it seems like some of you want to know what, you know, your ex or your soulmate or twin flame is doing. And then others of you seem to want to know about this new person that's either just come in or is coming in. So on my channel, I'm going to try to tell you guys both stories because I know there's, there's, you know, diversity here that you guys, some of you still want to hold on to the ex and you still want to work that out and see what's going on with them and that's of course your choice to make and then yeah others of you are just completely ready for this ready to end those patterns and ready for this new person who's probably going to be treating you a lot better than the ex did so um i'm still figuring out you know if i'm going to tell both separate stories in one video or if i'm going to do different videos but but please um comment and let me know i really want to know what you guys are leaning towards. Um, I'm going to do both for you, of course, but, but please, you know, um, you know, you guys are like my subscribers, you guys are growing with me as, as, as the channel grows, you know, you guys are, are a big part of this. So please comment, let me know. Do you guys mostly want to know about the new person or do you mostly want to know about the, the ex or the person that you've been holding on to? Like, let me know what you guys are feeling and what you're wanting that's going to help me produce, you know, better quality videos for you that are going to resonate with you. So, so please comment, um, let me know what's up. Again, still trying to figure out how to separate the two, how to, if I should do them both in one video, like, are you guys wanting to know about both or is there just one certain person that you're wanting to know about? Please let me know. Um, in this video, since I'm not sure I haven't heard from you guys yet, I'm just going to go ahead and do both. I'm going to start with the X and then after that I'm going to pull some cards on the new person that's either just come in or is coming in soon. So what's going on with the X? What do you need to know? I feel like for some of you someone just called and hung up for one of you maybe or like they're thinking about calling but they get scared. Hmm. What's going on with the X? So we're going to look into both. What's going on with the X first? Codependency and addiction, sex and seduction, X in the past. Oh, come on. X in the past, uh, open, honest communication, message. Yes, yeah, somebody is wanting, somebody either just has or they're thinking about messaging. There's like a truth. Well, Mercury retro we're in Mercury retrograde right now, and that, so that's going to bring back a lot of exes. Like, if you've been thinking about your exes lately out of nowhere or, you know, hearing from an ex out of the blue, that's most likely Mercury retrograde energy that, that typically brings your exes back around. And I feel like somebody is wanting... Somebody is wanting clarity with you. I feel like they said or did something and you misunderstood them or maybe they just weren't in their right frame of mind and they want to clear things up because I, I, I get a strong energy of somebody really thinking about reaching out to you. And, you know, with this card here, X, the past, this is, this is probably someone from your past. Um, I mean, probably someone you have like a, a bit of a history with. Maybe there just wasn't closure, closure in the connection. I'm just getting a strong sense that they just... There's something they want to say. I don't know if it's like trying to, because I'm channeling it. I'm feeling the energy, so I'm trying to describe it to you guys. It's kind of an apology, but not really. It's like this person might have a hard time apologizing, so it's not like a full apology. It's more like, hey, I did or said this, and I didn't mean to do that, or like, I'm not the same person I was, you know, I didn't mean to be that way. I didn't mean to come off that way. I think I miscommunicated or I just wasn't in my right frame of mind. Like, it's not like a full, I don't get them saying a full, like giving a full apology. It's more like, hey, that wasn't me. Um, I'm, I'm different now or I, I, I'm, it, my, my mind is calmer now or I'm working on myself now. 
Um, still has too much pride to apologize, though. <laughs> Uh, hidden truth, confusion, and uncertainty. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Yeah, they are feeling light, isolated and alone, but they, they did it to themselves. You know, I think they screwed something up and they're realizing it. This could have been recent, but for others of you, this is like in the past where they just... It's like you guys were on the same page, but like they, you guys were like both afraid or like you were both miscommunicating somehow. And they're kind of realizing that they screwed things up and that, you know, they're the only ones to blame for their, their loneliness. They should have fought for it. Clubs, parties, and social life. And then we have risk, reward, and bold gesture, choosing love over fear. I mean, everyone's story is going to be different, but the, the primary, the main energy I get here is that someone wasn't themselves when they were around you. Like, they might have been going through a lot. They just, they weren't themselves, and so they're wanting to show you who they are now. It's like, with, with codependency and addiction here and sex and seduction, it could depend that you guys had, like, a codependent sexual relationship in the past, and they kind of wanted it to go deeper, but they just weren't in a position to allow it to go deeper. Um, it could also be just somebody with, with drug or alcohol addictions in general or codependency issues or, um, you know, sex addictions or just, I also kind of see this, I mean, in this context, I see this as somebody not being themselves, like they're trying to be seductive, they're trying to, you know, um, guard themselves and not show their true emotions. And I, I, that song, um, Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls, you know, I don't want the world to see me. Um, or I don't want the world to see me because I don't think that they'd understand when everything's made to be broken. I just want you to know who I am. That song is really coming strong in this video. Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. It's a beautiful song. Um, with clubs and parties. I also kind of get the sense that like maybe they were partying a lot. This could also be that, well... See, they feel, it's like somebody who feels alone and isolated, but they try to put on a brave face and just act like they're fine and just kind of focus on their social life. But like deep down, they're just alone and they're unhappy, but they're faking it. I also feel like the second message for some of you is, is that you either know this part, that you either you like know them from a club or party or a bar, or that's how you met, or like maybe that's how they're trying to like bump into you again. Like maybe they're wanting... There's some kind of social event possibly that they're trying to bump into you that, that they're trying to make something happen. They're trying to figure out how they could see you in public. I think they're trying to, I think they really want to talk to you um, face to face. I think that they have, it's like confusion and uncertainty. They're, they're kind of confused about how you feel at this point. They're uncertain of how you feel. They're uncertain of how you would take this hidden truth that they want to tell you. And so I think they're really wanting to, um, They're just really wanting to like to talk and, and clear things up in person. They're just they're just I feel like they're just not calling or texting because they're afraid that you'll just tell them off. Or they're all they're afraid that like they'll get ignored or that it'll be miscommunication again. Like they're trying to be more patient and calm. Um Yeah, they're wanting to be more vulnerable with you. They're wanting to come forward with open, honest communication, you know hidden truth they're wanting to show you i think the hidden truth is is more about who they are as a person like they're wanting to show you that deeper level that they were too afraid to show you before or the things that they hid from you before like they're wanting just an open honest vulnerable relationship with you and you have to decide if it's worth it because i do feel like this person messed up a lot and so you got to make a judgment call as to whether they're going to do that or not again you know because in the energy they're planning on not doing that again but you never you know energy can change you know um but yeah, and, and that, that hidden truth is just that, you know, they, they weren't themselves. They didn't mean to say or do that. They they, they want to clear that up. They, they don't want you to see them. They're afraid that you see them in a really negative light, and they, they don't like that. Um, so there, there's a lot of fear there. And they, yeah, they do feel isolated and alone. They do feel empty. I think they have this awareness, though, that they did this to themselves. Like, the confusion and uncertainty is because they, they know they screwed up. Like, they might not have known it at the time, but I think after a while and you guys not having the closure, I think they're kind of starting to get, like, they're the ones that screwed this up. Um, so, again, where they're at right now is they are wanting to talk. They are wanting open, honest communication. 
they still have too much pride to apologize. So you're going to get kind of a half-ass apology like, oh yeah, maybe I shouldn't have said or done that. Maybe I was drunk. Maybe I was in a bad mood at the time. You know what I mean? It's like they're kind of hinting at an apology, but I don't see them coming straight out and saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, but yeah that, that's that's where they're at. They're They're wanting to talk. They're I feel like they might go to call or they might think about calling but again they're just they're really wanting it to be in person because they feel like maybe there's miscommunication through text or email or social media or maybe you know you guys would argue or something or maybe they would come off wrong especially being in mercury retrograde so they're really wanting to talk in person somehow they're just not sure how to do that and they're they're hoping that there's some way they can bump into you again it could be too that they're going out to bars and clubs and like maybe they're hoping Maybe you guys went there together and they're nostalgic and thinking about those times or they're hoping that maybe sometime you'll just come back there and just it'll be the right timing. But they are choosing love over fear. Like they are they are wanting to move forward with you. What else what else do we need to know about this connection? And then I'm gonna pull cards on the new person after this. I'm just gonna pull a few more cards on this one. Publicity, social media, possibly stalking you a little bit. Shine it, yeah, because publicity, social media, and then shyness and fear of rejection. It's like somebody who's like kind of watching you, keeping tabs on you, but they're afraid to reach out. They're afraid that you're not going to take them back and you're not going to forgive them. And they're aware that you're like pausing, reflecting, resting. They're kind of aware that they, this is like a neutral energy, sorry, my hands are in the way. This is more of like a neutral energy right here. And they're aware that they don't have you on lockdown like they used to. So they know that you're kind of neutral and they're really just not sure how you feel. And so they're trying to figure out how to um, how to make things right. And they just, they have no idea how. All right, now I'm going to do some quick cards on the new person. All right, so new person really quick. What do you need to know about the new person? Where are they? They've either just come in or they're coming in. They're in your energy field. So what do you need to know about the new person? What's the story there? Please, cards, be clear and direct and to the point. No confusing mixed messages. Let's get right to the point. Where is your person at? Like, what's going on with them? What is the story here? Mental instability, cold, guarded, distrusting stagnant yeah see this is good energy actually because we've got end of a pattern here so they're ending patterns too they have like a toxic x or a karmic and they're ending those patterns um so yeah mental instability cold guarded distrusting stagnation and complacency end of a pattern or cycle breakthrough freedom so this is the pattern these three cards right here that's the pattern that they're ending submissive weak-willed potential life partner true love see this new person is a potential life partner the ex isn't i'm not gonna lie the ex is, is i don't feel like they are they could be they could be i don't i don't get a great energy though potential life partner true love make your move green light and choose a path so i think that you guys are really mirroring each other here now see as you cut out old patterns and old you know toxic emotionally unavailable people abusive people people that ghosted you cheated on you lied just weren't there for you when you needed them as you cut out those people your person is also cutting out these people so it's like destiny you guys are kind of mirroring each other's energy like you're aware of each other astrally and telepathically like in you know your energy affects them and vice versa it could be a twin flame i mean with the mirroring it does seem kind of reminiscent of a twin flame relationship but it could also just be a soulmate that you have a very deep connection to and um yeah, they're 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 working on the same stuff you're working on. So so again, the choice is yours. It's your path. Do you want the ex or do you want the new love? Uh, mental instability. So yeah, this is somebody. This is somebody. This is their. This is their ex. These three cards are talking about your your this new person that that's either just coming in or, or has come in already. Um, these cards are talking about their ex. So their ex is, you know, mentally unstable, probably cold, guarded, distrusting, distant, probably played games with them, probably manipulative, narcissistic, possibly ghosted them, you know, made them chase them and never gave them the time of day, just, you know, stagnant and complacent. And they felt like they couldn't let go of it. Like they were just kind of stuck in that energy. Like they, 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 they were complacent and they were stagnant because they didn't want to let go of this person. 
And then the relationship itself with this person was also stagnant and complacent, where it was just like they, you know, they were being led on. They were being kind of toyed with or ghosted or, you know, it's just a very, it's just not not a committed relationship. And they were wanting a committed relationship. But but see, I think you have the same cycle with, with people. I think you have a very similar cycle with your exes as well. And they're ending this pattern, this cycle. They're breaking through. They're finding their freedom. They're reclaiming their power and reclaiming themselves just as you are. And they're saying, you know what? I want new love. I don't want this ex. This could be an ex that they're, they're like a karmic they're, they're, you know, that they've ended things with or just maybe it was just painful even though they hadn't even though they'd been out of the relationship for a while it was still hurting them or just a pattern in general that they have with that kind of woman or that kind of man they're ending it now and they're trying to manifest it's what you seek is seeking you they are ending these patterns and they're trying to manifest you just as you're trying to manifest them like they're thinking you know i'm tired of not getting it right i'm tired of the games i'm tired of of being ghosted i'm tired of mentally unstable people that just that don't want me um i'm tired of the negativity and the drama like i'm i'm tired of it and they're ending these patterns and, and having this breakthrough and this freedom and they're thinking about what you want and it's amazing it's a beautiful energy because as you're thinking about manifesting this new person they're also thinking about manifesting new like manifesting you like what do i want this person to be like what do i want them you know, like you guys might get together and found, find that they like they, you know, painted a picture of you that looks just like you or they, they wrote some stuff down or something like manifesting what they want. Just something. I know you guys probably aren't even believing. It. You're like, yeah, right. No, but really like they're actually I don't know if they're spiritual or not. Like I, I can't tell, but I feel like they are thinking about what they want in a relationship. They're thinking about those qualities and those qualities are who you are. So like the universe is just aligning this connection perfectly and I think in the past they've been kind of submissive and weak-willed, like kind of just naive and they got ghosted, they got abused, they kept putting all their energy into these connections that went nowhere. And so they're kind of making a vow to themselves too that they're not going to be submissive and weak-willed again, that they're not going to just give their all to a relationship that's not going anywhere. I think it's also saying that they're going to be submissive with you. Like this kind of sexy if you think about it. It's kind of a sexual energy here in this context like they're going to be submissive to how they feel for you where as in the past you know your exes kind of just fought their feelings they ran from their feelings whereas this person is going to believe in love the way that you believe in love you know your, your energy is just going to resonate with each other um and this is true love this is a potential life partner this energy makes me emotional like for you guys like it's just i mean i'm not gonna lie like i I know you guys don't want to hear it, but this energy is a hundred times better than the X. But you love who you love. You know, you have to choose your path. You have to do what's right for you. I personally would not want the X back. I would personally prefer this this new person. I would I would if I were you, I would cut that cut all the bolt cut all the patterns out, all the, the emotionally unavailable people, the um the, the people that ghost, cheat, lie, just cut them all out, cut those patterns out, do cut and clear work. Um you know, set boundaries, firm, strong boundaries and stick to them above all else and, you know, manifest and those patterns and manifest somebody who's not your usual type manifest this new person because this is this person is like a real man right here. This is like somebody who's strong, who's who's been through it, who's who's got it, who still believes in love after all the shit he's been through. This is like a romantic or she is a romantic, you know, whatever your story is, could be male or female. But this is this is true love. This is a life partner here. This is somebody you want on your team. This is a fighter. This is somebody who's going to fight for you and stand by your side in ways that your exes just didn't. And they're going to make that move, you know, in the green light. They're going to they're going to make a move towards you. They're, they're going to choose a path with you. You just got to decide you want to choose this path with them, too. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And please, please comment and let me know. Do you want to know about the old person or the new person or do you want to know about both? Do you guys think that I should do videos like this where I, I talk about the old per the, the ex and then I talk about the new person? Or do you think I should split it up and do a video on the ex and then a second video on the new person? Like, please, like, this is this is your channel, too. You know, you guys are a part of this. So please let me know what you want to see on here. And, um, yeah, I love interacting with you guys, too. It's really good to hear from you. And, and yeah, if this resonates, I also do paid private readings. My email is below. Uh, and go ahead and subscribe, too, if it resonates. Thanks for watching.